Assalamu alaikum. I am Sajad Ali. Today I am going to solve a problem related to isomorphic graphs. We are given the two graphs, graph G and graph H. We need to determine whether these two graphs are isomorphic or not. So when we see at these two graphs, we see that the number of vertices in these two graphs are also equal and the number of edges are also equal. Since it is the number of the vertices are 6 and the number of edges are 7 in both these graphs. So it is reasonable to move forward and check the isomorphism on these two graphs. So let's define a function f from the vertices of graph G to the vertices of graph H. So if f preserves the edges and if each of the vertices, vertex in graph G has an image in graph H means f corresponds f possess one to one and on to relation from G to H and uh, and finally if we can create a matrix IGFC matrix of graph G and graph H if they are identical to each other then we will say that these two graphs are isomorphic so let's create the images of the vertices of graph G in the graph in the graph of H so first let's see U1 since u1 is degree 2 and the uh, adjacent vertices of u1 are u2 and u4 and the degree of u2 and u4 are 3 so we need to find the exactly same vertex in graph h whose own degree is 2 and whose adjacent vertices degree must be 3 since we find v4 and v6 whose own degree is 2 and its adjacent vertices are v3 and v5 whose degree is 3. So the possible images of u1 are either v6 or v4. So we arbitrarily choose here f of u1 as v6. And continuing like this way, we have set the images of u2, u3 and so on, v3, v4 and like this. Again we have created an adjacency matrix, let its name as ag of graph g. And we have placed all the vertex vertices of graph G in row and also in column which are adjacent or not adjacent to this these vertices. We see that u there is no any loop, so u1 is not adjacent to itself, so it is false. So we have placed it zero. Since u1 is adjacent to u2, so we have placed it one. Since u1 is not adjacent to u3, so we have placed it. 0 since u1 is adjacent to u4 since it is true so we have placed here 1 u1 is neither adjacent to u5 u1 is nor it is adjacent to u6 so we have placed here 0 and 0 because these both statements are false and like this we have filled this whole matrix of a g the adjacency matrix of graph g and again we have filled the adjacency matrix later name is a h and consider the placings of the word as we haven't placed here v1 v2 v3 as we have done here since the image of u1 is v6 not v1 so we have placed here v6 at the first row and at the first column and like this u2 the image of u2 is v3 so we have placed here v3 v3 so like this we have placed there in the rows and column and we see that there is no any loop in the v6 so v6 is not adjacent to v6 and v6 touches v3 so it is true so we have placed here 1 since v6 and v4 are not adjacent to each other so it is false v6 touches v5 so it is true v6 is neither adjacent to v1 nor v2 so we have placed here 0 and like this we have filled this whole matrix too now when we check these two matrices when we look at these two matrices we see the 0 0 1 1 when we look at these two matrices we see that these two matrices are identical or same so these since these two matrices are same which is the final condition of isomorphism on a so we can say that g and h graphs are isomorphic so finally we can say that it is true that these two graphs are isomorphic. Thank you very much.